COVID-19 together. Thank you. Do not forget to put on your mask. Yes, sir. And observe social distance. Let's fight COVID 19 together. The world continues to battle with this coronavirus pandemic and people are exploring innovative means of fighting this pandemic. People are coming out with innovations and one such innovation is what we have here at the Cape Coast Takikai University. A young man has come out with a brilliant idea, a prompter of a sort that as soon as you enter into the building, it will prompt you to wash your hands thoroughly before you gain access to any of the officers here. And they are willing to go all out with us. Um, I'm into renewable energy. Uh, my, my, my small company name is Auto Hydro Plant and I'm the chief executive and an inventor. I've invented so many things, but what prompted me to enter into this is that we are all fighting the coronavirus together. So I, I sat and I thought about something. I said, no, I can also do something to help in a way. Um, precisely our brothers and sisters who are visually and hearing impaired, we have to do something. Whenever we are planning, we have to consider them too. So I said, no, then let me also bring up something. So uh, Shower Prompt, that is the name. Shower Prompt the sh uh, is the short name. And then the full name is Solar um, Hand Washing Prompting Machine. And that is the shower prompt. So that is, uh, so the shower prompt is, was designed by me. Everything was done by me, and it's in three phases. We have the prompting aspect, we have the security aspect, and we have the touchless aspect. Uh, so combine all of them, then you have the, um, uh, the shower prompt machine. The security aspect stops you from entering until you perform all those protocols, and then the prompting. Uh, aspect prompt you welcome you prompt you to observe all the necessary protocols about the uh, uh, COVID-19 and then the uh, touchless aspect allow you to go through all the procedure without touching almost uh, anything at all so that is it uh, my small company is working with another company called solid home appliances and the director or the chief executive officer is Reverend Albert Atta people call him Reverend Wanda so we are working about something of that nature no, it's in a process. Very soon it will come out. But what that, that one does is that when, if you are using that particular AC, if I'm having the virus, if I enter and you are not having, even if I spit on the, on the ground, on the floor, or maybe on the table or something like that, within three seconds, the virus will die so that it will not affect you. That is, that is, the, that is the concept. And we are using nanotechnology to come up with that. With that. Uh, that, that one is a huge one. We are still working on it, and hopefully it will be out very soon. We are all trying to fight uh, the COVID-19 together, so hopefully that one too will, will materialize. So I want to go through the system to find out how exactly it works. So as you can see, there is nothing. There is no sign. There is no sound or something. I'm going to go through this door and see how it works with the one who invented this one. Um, let's walk in. So uh, we are walking into the system. What happens? Okay, so here we are. I mean, there is a beep sound. So what will happen? 
Uh -huh. So, uh, as I told you earlier, it consists of three sectors. That is three different units. Uh -huh. So, the uh, security unit is the stop like that is stopping you from entering this gate. Okay, so, if I am I, I don't wash my hand, then you go. It will continue beeping, 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 and it will draw the attention of the security person, uh, personnel that you didn't perform the the the, uh, the priority. Uh -huh. So. So the, the security system goes with the stop light, stopping you from entering until you perform uh, the necessary pro uh, protocol. So as I told you earlier, um, Thank you. this unit is the prompting unit. This one is the audio and Welcome video. That is the audiovisual version of the, the whole uh, pro uh, project. It prompts you, welcomes you, prompts you to observe as you can hear speaking about how you, you have to observe the necessary protocols. So I'm going to go through it. And this is the, um, the touchless unit. The touchless unit, anything that you do here, you are not supposed to touch anything here. So as for the first one, the first one, you go for the soup. Yeah, yeah, you go for the soup. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So as you can see, uh -huh. yes. So the moment I, I come to this place, I'll take my Without touching it. Without touching Thank it, you. it's touchless. So you don't you are not supposed to touch anything here. And the I assumption is let me pause here for a minute. The here. assumption is you have to wash your hand underwater for at least twenty seconds. Do Maybe you are carrying the virus. Maybe you virus. didn't wash properly. Uh -huh. So the dryer uh, we are also told that the, the, the virus cannot uh, stay under temperature uh, below, above 80, uh, 80 degrees or something like that. That is what we learned from the uh, health experts. So um, Let's coming here to dry your hands, this thing is even about 90 degrees. Uh, so the assumption is that even if the virus doesn't die here, the moment they, they get to this place, they will die. So that you, 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 your, your hand will become virus free or something, something of that nature. Fantastic, fantastic. I, I, I am going to do the same thing. Uh, let me see. Okay, so I've gone for my soap, and then kindly wash your hand here. Okay, so um, okay, let me put the. Do not forget to put on exactly. Your mask. So I am not touching anything now, and then and I'm done. Then I go for. Distance. I go for this one. Let's fight COVID-19 together. So, my hands are now dried under the automatic hand dryer. So, so now the system is off. So, it's indicating that you've gone through all the processes successfully. So, now you can enter. Okay. So, now the system is off. We've performed all the necessary rituals here. And then I can enter. How easy was it for you to use this facility? Oh, thank you very much. My name is Nana George Franklin, the 
Central Regional President of the Ghana Federation of Disability Organizations. Uh, it's been an enjoyable experience, um, at least. Uh, everything went smoothly for me. I believe if I do it one or another, a second time or a third time, it will become something like a ritual for, for me. So it's a perfect solution for us and I think it is good. Uh, we appreciate the, um, the one who really uh, discovered, um, or the one who really has come up with this brilliant um, equipment, which is meant to facilitate uh, easy washing of hands and easy drying of our hands. Um, I'm really wondering what kind of uh, thing is it using? Is it using solar or electricity? It's solar. Well, so it means those of us who are in the hinterland can still benefit from its usage. It's a wonderful thing that I've experienced this morning. And now I will very much thank the one who invented this particular equipment for thinking about us, for thinking about the persons with disabilities. We saw what people had made. Um, you have automated things and other things that other people had created. We could have done the same thing, but we wanted something a bit different from what the people had made. And so we had a young man here, a very brilliant chap, who came up with his idea. Let's get a prompt, something that will remind people to wash their hands. You know, when you're walking into buildings, it's so easy to forget to wash your hands. You, you need somebody over there to prompt you. So he came up with this idea. We thought it was a brilliant idea. So the school supported him to put together what he has done. We're willing to go all out. This is the first one, the prototype. You've come to see it. Uh, I'm sure the whole country will see what has been done. And, and we're still waiting for people to come in with orders for uh, the contraption. So we're ready to go all out. I think it should go nationwide. In every building, we need to have the contraption in there. So we can call in anyone who is interested in having one of these to come over, and then we'll put together one for them. Well, I think there's a lot that you should expect, and I think people, prospective students listening to me should be should think of coming here because there's a lot that um, we can do over here. Um, Smiler Abubakar, he's great. He's brilliant. And when I came in and heard, I got to know the skills he had, I took him up and decided to help him out to come up with some of these things. He's thinking about coming up with an AC which is able to kill COVID, um, um, the, the coronavirus. So in interaction, you go into an office, you're speaking and droplets come out of your mouth. But as soon as they come out, the AC will be, have something built into it, which is able to kill or disable the, the virus. And uh, I think that's going to be something huge. Um, when it builds there, we will look, I know not too many people would want to change their ACs, but we'll look at how best we could incorporate that contraption to existing ACs so that in every office, uh, if you go in, you could take off your mask and speak comfortably, knowing very well that if any virus is in you, it's going to be killed um, as long as you're in that environment. Beyond that, I think they are fantastic ideas. You may have heard that our niche area is renewable energy, and uh, we want to exploit it to the maximum. Whatever we can do in the area of renewable energy, we're willing to do. Really asking for those who are interested in renewable energy to come on board and to support us to do whatever we can for the development of the nation.